A few days ago, my husband came into our room and woke me up, wanting me to download a movie. And I asked him, is this something that needed to be done right now, or could it wait until I woke up? But I thought I would create a little bit of automation for him. Now, being married to me has the perk of you get pirate streaming service name of your choice here when you're on my land. So I have configured a small fleet of things to handle downloading a variety of Linux ISOs for me. And the one I'm going to be setting up today is called Overseer. And if I understand it correctly, it is exactly what I need. Uh, it is a interface for someone, in this case my husband, to request uh, downloads of whatever Linux ISOs uh, that he is desiring at that moment. And then using other stuff that I already have set up, automations should take place to just allow that to happen and put it in the place so it appears on other things that we can use. So here is how we're going to do that. I've got the, I pulled the image in my Synology. My Synology has some containers running it on uh, it right now that host uh, some of these platforms that I use to do all of this fun and uh, fun automation. So where are we at? Try this one. Okay. Don't make fun of my 92% uh, full of my 16 terabyte array. You know. There's no such thing as too much storage, but I've got the Docker thing pulled up here. This is the IP of the Synology. Its name is Neuromancer. And it would probably help if I pulled up the documentation for the container here, because I had to redo it over here. Docker. Here we go. Here we go. What do we need? All right, we need a port. Port 50, 55. Synology, the Synologies are all kind of in that range, so I'm just going to do 56, 56, and let Docker do its thing here. Let's do that. What else do we need? We need the user ID and the group ID. I forgot what those were, but I looked them up and I have them here. So in the environment, we need a variable. We need PUID. And this value should be, in my case, 1045. And we need another one, PGID. And in this case, if I remember correctly, it's 65, 537. Double check. Yes. So these are set up. I have a, a specific user and a group set up to do some file stuff, file nonsense on the back end. So all these Docker containers are acting as kind of one user, which is convenient for me when I have to manually manually deal with all the files here so those two variables are good and what else do we need here we need i think oh just a time zone and then the path of we need a volume to the the files here so one more here we need uh, tz and i believe they said this was chicago where i actually am all right and then we need the last thing is a volume here so on here it's under docker data i created this previously linux server overseer and if i remember correctly it's just mapped to slash config on internally here mount the path slash config and just to review one more time I have the short, uh, I have it making a shortcut here just for me for convenience. Keep it a volume. If we don't need to change anything on the network. I remap the port. It's 5055 internally and 5656 for everything else on my network. 
this actually I will put this in here so I have a feeling I'm gonna need to add these somehow in overseer which is what I'm gonna be setting up so let's just call it radar and let's call the other one sonar use easy names and maybe this one let's go with this one nzb get we don't need it it won't hurt anything being there and then the environment time zone group id user id and this was the rest of it that was pre-configured apply name next run this container yes please docker api has failed oh son of a bitch Pause for troubleshooting. I reset it and restarted it again. Let's see if this will do anything for us. Holy shit! We're live! Welcome to Overseer. Get started by signing in with your Plex account. Okay. Yes, that is me. Oh damn! Okay, configure Plex. Step two: configure the settings for your Plex server. Overseer scans your Plex libraries to determine the content availability. Press the button to load available servers. Then, okay, this one is the one I'm going to pick because it's uh, just the IP address and it's local. Thirty-two. That's the correct port. Don't need to fuck around with SSL internally here and what do i do save what do i have to click okay so save and then let's just turn these on sure we can start a scan later which we'll just set it up for now Oh, now it says it will run in the background. Start scan. Sure. Continue. Configure your radar servers below. You can connect multiple radar servers, but only two of them can be marked as defaults. One non-4K and one 4K. Makes sense. Administrators are able to override the server and use to process new requests prior to approval. Sure. Any radar server. We're only going to have one. Default. Its name is going to be and since I configured this correctly, I think, in the container, this should work. Just local host name like this. The port is correct. API key paste. Don't need a URL base. Uh, and it says test connection to load quality profiles. Test. Damn, worked. Let's leave this at 720p, 1080p. Root folder, this one, which is how I have things mapped in radar. Minimum availability, we're going to keep at released because fuck cams. Uh, and enable scan. What is scan? Ah, sure. Automatic search. Add server. Why not? And configure your sonar servers below. Same thing. Sonar server, we're going to do defaults. Same thing. Paste. No URL base, quality profile, test connection to low quality profiles. Select quality profile now, just going to keep those the same, 720p, 1080p, root folder is now this, which is how it's mapped internally on sonar. Language profile, sure, anime, don't have this set up yet, maybe soon. Season folders. Yeah. I 
think, scan. Okay, finish setup. This looks very cool. The users. And that is me. Issues. No issues found. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. No request yet because we just installed it. Series. These are things it's recommending to me. Movies. Also things it's recommending to me. And, okay, very cool, very cool. Discover, is this everything? All right. Neat. And yeah, this definitely works. It's amazing. Yay, piratical solutions, I suppose. The last thing I did here was make husband o a local account on here. So I want to go give him the link to this. Uh, he can just sign in and, you know, use this as however he pleases with auto approval permissions. So auto, any uh, any requests from him will be automatically approved and the other things will handle the magic in the back end. Really awesome solution, I think.